Celine Dion shared a tribute to her late husband Rene Angelio this Friday, the sixth anniversary of his death. She began with lyrics from her 2019 song Courage, I would be lying if I said I'm fine, I think of you at least a hundred times, cause in the echo of my voice I hear your words just like you're there. The 53-year-old pop star concluded the message by writing simply, I miss you, repeating the sentiment in her native French. Celine shares three sons with her late husband, who died in 2016 aged 73 of a heart attack, Rene Charles, 20, and twins Nelson and Eddie, 11. She met Rene in Canada when she was a 12-year-old aspiring singer and he was already 38. He became her manager. His dedication to nurturing her career reportedly drove him to mortgage his home so that he could provide funding for her 1981 debut album La Voix du Bon Rene and Celine officially began dating in 1987, when she was just 19 years old and he was 45, and in 1991 they got engaged. It was only in 1993, however, that she publicized their romance, slipping the announcement into the liner notes of her album The Color of My Love. In December 1994 they married in Montreal's Notre Dame Basilica, which became the venue for their eldest son René Charles christening and Rune's funeral. Died at 73 of a heart attack while suffering from terminal throat cancer in January 2016. Two days later, Celine lost her brother Daniel to throat cancer. That August, Celine released a tribute album to him in French entitled Encore en Soir, with a single of the same name that was a hit in francophone markets. Her latest album, opened at the top of the Billboard 200 in late 2019, and then plummeted to 111th place in just one week. In doing so it made history, as no album has ever fallen from number one to below the top 100 in only its second week, Forbes reported. A Page Six insider revealed, she's upset. All hell has broken loose. The only reason she sold 100,000 was because of the whole bundle thing that labels do, but she only sold around 3,000 the second week. By the whole bundle thing, the source was referring to a practice whereby fans buy concert tickets and get a copy of the artist's latest album for free. Over the past few years artists ranging from Pink to Kenny Chesney to Metallica have leaned on this method to push their albums up the charts, according to Billboard. Meanwhile during the past couple of decades Celine became known as Queen of Las Vegas because of her enormously successful residencies there. After retiring her famous Caesars Palace residency in 2019, she was coaxed back to Sin City to perform at the new resort's World on the Strip. But it emerged in October that Celine had to scrap the first two sets of shows in November, January and February on health grounds, according to Variety. The official announcement of the postponement said that Celine has been coping with severe and persistent muscle spasms. Her medical issues had advanced to the point that even going to rehearsal had evidently become unfeasible. However her Courage World Tour is still slated to restart in March, beginning with a show at the Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. Resorts World Las Vegas, which opened last summer and has Liberace's old Rolls Royce in the lobby, has a number of other acts booked. Katy Perry, Luke Bryan and Carrie Underwood have also all been hired to perform residencies at the new property, 